utterly bereft of patter. You're watching A Recipe for Nightmares, exploring the Vincent Price cookbook with your host, John McNee. Why are you watching it? That's, that's an interesting question. I don't know. I'm not responsible for your questionable life choices. This is the show where I, horror author John McNee, work my way through the recipes of horror icon Vincent Price, as recounted in his famous cookbook, A Treasury of Great Recipes. For the benefit of any future historians watching, I started this endeavour in 2018, it's now 2023, so I've been doing it for five years, we've cooked upwards of 20 recipes and we only have about 900 still to go. Will this be the one that finally puts me over 200 subscribers on YouTube? I doubt it. Today's episode is brought to you by John McNee's Splatter Party, my new collection of short horror stories, which is available now absolutely free. All you have to do is go to my website, johnmcnee.com, and click on a little button that gets you your free download and subscribes to my newsletter. But that's neither here nor there. John McNee's Splatter Party, get it now. That website again is johnmcnee.com. Today's recipe is London broil, that famous beef dish so beloved by households up and down the length and breadth of Great Britain. Except, of course, it isn't, because it's actually American. I don't know why whoever invented it thought it should be called London broil rather than Cleveland broil or Cincinnati broil. Perhaps they just thought that London was a more exotic and glamorous place. <laughs> if only they knew. We require top round of beef, cooking oil, salt, pepper, butter, red wine or consomme. A top round of beef is what they call it in America, but here in the UK it's what is more commonly known as bavette steak, um, which sounds French to me, but our terminology is all over the place today. Vincent Price's recipe recommends using a broiler pan. I don't have a broiler pan or indeed really 100% know what one is, but I think I know and I'm going to improvise using just a regular roasting tray and um, a cooling rack and I'm sure that'll work out just fine. So with our meat on the improvised broiling tray, we're going to brush with a little cooking oil, then sprinkle with plenty of salt and pepper. Then we're gonna place under the broiler or grill for 10 minutes. Regular viewers may be wondering where my chef's hat is. That's a question I would also like the answer to. If you have any information, please don't hesitate to get in touch. I went looking for it today and it's regular place and it was gone. It'll turn up. After 10 minutes, turn over and pop back under the grill for another 10 minutes. Oddly enough, if you look up other recipes for London broil on the internet, as I have, you'll see they all typically use marinades, which this recipe from the famous New York establishment Sardi's does not. And who's to say who's right? Perhaps all these years people have been marinating their meat needlessly, so enthralled to the powerful marinade lobbies. Or not. Vincent Price's recipe says that after 10 minutes on one side and 10 minutes on the other, London broil will be cooked to rare. I'm a little skeptical myself, it looks more like medium to well, but I tend not to argue with Vincent Price, he doesn't steer me wrong. Only sometimes. Next to the juices in the pan, which is uh, not a lot, add one cup of either water, red wine or consomme. And I'm going to be using consomme because I am a consummate professional. <laughs> Still got it. With the pan sitting over a medium heat, I'm going to add the consomme and scrape up some of the, the brown glaze that's collected on the bottom. Then add in about one tablespoon of butter and keep stirring until it's melted. And don't forget to adjust for seasoning. And that thing's pretty good. Vincent advises to cut the meat crosswise on a slant in thin slices. And see, as you can see, not exactly what I would call rare, but... Uh, tastes pretty good. The pan gravy should be served alongside in a separate gravy boat, but if you don't have one of those, I find a milk jug is just you know, equally as good. 
And there we have it, Vincent Price's recipe for London broil. Today's dish will be paired with a bottle of London Pride Ale and the Vincent Price horror film Tower of London. Mother England meets Father Terror in this horrifying film that's as authentically British as London Broil. There are certain armed forces to the north that as of now have failed to declare an oath of royalty. Do you speak of my father? Well, yes, I, I do, Lady Margaret. When the crown is securely on Prince Edward's head, that oath will be sworn and upheld. Flawless oh. accents. That's all for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Visit johnmcnee.com to download your free copy of John McNee's Splatter Party. Uh, and, uh, of course, do join me next time, soon, for another recipe for nightmares. Cheers. No.